So what's going on everybody, my name is Top Lamb and today I'm going to be showing you how you can upgrade the Ice Star for the new map Origins Remastered. Um, I haven't shown you how to actually get the Ice Star um, in this uh, gameplay, but I do have a video on my channel, I will link it in the description, uh, so you just click on that video, um, then come back to this video and I'll show you exactly how you can upgrade the Ice Star. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So what you want to do is make your way down into the crazy place and there's going to be a row of symbols uh, just above me there and there's also going to be a tablet with um, a symbol on it and you want to match up the symbols uh, on, I have it on the screen right now so I look at the symbol and then I shoot the one at the top so I'll explain it so that one's the four dots so I can see on there that four dots is like an L with like a little dot thing I don't know what that is but then I look back round and then I can see this one is two circles with a circle missing the middle bit which is the two L's then I look back round and this one is three dots which I can say is um, just two lines with the little things on top the little arrows so I shoot that one uh, I look back round and this one is um, like a, a line with like a backwards F sort of thing I don't know, I can't really explain it um, loop background again and this one I can tell is the only one left so you just shoot that one anyway so it's obviously the last one but anyway, uh, on to the next step Okay, so you're going to make your way over to Jug, and there's going to be a tombstone right there. And you're just going to shoot with your ice staff, and then shoot with a pack a punch weapon. It can't be the boom hindler or um, the ray gun for some reason. It has to be a bullet. And the second one is over there. There's only three of these, just next to the excavation site right there. And the last one is by the tank factory near the spawn. Um, you're just going to, like I said, shoot with the ice staff, and then shoot it with a pack a punch weapon. And that is the last one. Uh, on to the next step and the next step you're going to need to come down to the excavation site um, basically all you're going to have to do is um, there's going to be four switches and you need to switch you need to just turn them so they all go blue so as I can see this one is purple so I turn it and that one goes blue um, and then I jump down here that's the first switch location by the way and the second switch location is here, that one is yellow, then it's red, and then it's purple, and then obviously the last one is going to be blue, so I jump down, and then I come up to this one over here, I think this one's already blue, so yeah, that one's already blue, so I can leave that one, and then the last one is going to be just here, and it's purple at the bottom, and now it's blue, so I jump down here, and then I shoot this orb thing, and basically what this is going to do, that's going to send it to the um, the crazy place and this is how you do your last step okay so make your way over to the crazy place uh, you can go through any of the teleporters, just put your gramophone down onto the table and then what you want to do is put your eye staff down here and you're going to need to get roughly around 20 to, tw 20 to 30 kills I'm not sure exactly how many it is, probably, probably about 25 kills in the crazy place uh, and then once you do that you can pick up your ice staff ok so like I said uh, you get about 20-30 to 30 kills um, it will show up on your screen on the left side of your screen to show you that you've done like there and then you can now pick up your ice staff <coughs> um, this is definitely one of the best ice staffs uh, I must say um, like obviously all the ice staffs upgraded you can use the melee attacks which I'm not sure exactly what um, it's up to uh, and like a one life kill I'm not sure what one exactly is up to but um, <clears throat> there's a couple of different things you can do with this weapon you can obviously use the melee you can use uh, just one shot or you can charge the shot and it's like a blizzard and it kills a whole bunch of zombies obviously there was, wasn't much zombies around there at the time but it's definitely one of the better ice staffs and especially against the panzers as well and also if you see there that is um, well it, it's pre pretty pointless solo I guess but um, if you're playing with multiple players if one of your teammates go down you can just shoot them with the staff um, with the 
<coughs> the revive and then you can revive them which is really good alright so um, anyway I hope you liked this video um, if you did like this video please leave a like and subscribe I will be making more videos um, I'll make him videos on how to upgrade the rest of the staffs like the wind staff, the fire staff and also the lightning staff um, I'm going to show you how to get them and also how to upgrade them um, um, I'll either put them in the description or I'll put them on video uh, on the end of the video so you can just click on them okay so like I said um, I hope you liked the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye Spring will not come for you!